Welcome to this demonstration of deploying Oracle Cloud Apps extensions across instances with Oracle Visual Builder Studio. My name is Shai Schmelzer. In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to quickly create an extension, then publish the extension to your test instance, then how to add additional environments and other Oracle Cloud application instance into a new environment, and then how to deploy and undeploy your extension to this new environment. We're starting in our test instance of HCM, and we're going to edit this specific HCM page in Visual Builder. This opens the page in Visual Builder Studio in a mode that allows us to do extensions and customization. We're going to check the specific area that shows information about the person over here, and we're going to modify how it looks in our extension. So what we're going to do here is we're going to duplicate the existing user interface, and we're going to create a more private one where we're going to hide some of the fields. So we're going to go over here and we're going to remove the phone number and the work email from the page so they won't be displayed. Once we're done with those changes, we can take and publish them. We'll click the publish. This will allow us to save the changes that we did into our Git repository, providing a commit message. Like that. And then when we click publish, this would commit the changes into our Git repository and then we'll invoke a pipeline that will take our changes and deploy them. Now, up until now, we're working on the test instance of Oracle HCM, as you can see in the URL up there. Now we're going to go back into the Visual Builder Studio project management area. And over here, we're going to look at our builds and we're going to see that there is a build now queued to take our extension, package it, and then deploy it. This is because it's part of a pipeline that is automatically invoked and this deploy step is going to deploy our changes to our test instance of Oracle SAS. Okay, so this is the instance that we're working on right now. This instance is defined in our environment. Okay, so into this environment, we're going to take the changes and deploy it. So let's look at our environment. The instance that we call deployment is actually our test instance. Okay, and this is the one associated with our test environment. We can also define other environments. So let's create a new environment. For example, we are going to create an environment and call it Dev3. Okay. To each environment, we can add additional instances. In our case, we're going to add an instance of an Oracle Cloud application, but not the one in our current tenancy, but rather we're going to provide the URL to our Dev2 instance over here, provide a username and password, and add this instance of Oracle Cloud Apps to this environment called Dev3. So the environment is called Dev3, even though the instance is actually Dev2. Now what we can do is we can actually create a new job that replicates the deployment, but this time to this new environment. So we're going to create a deploy to Dev3, um, sorry, Dev3 instance over here, and we're going to copy the deploy job that does the deployment to our development environment or the test environment. And all we need to change here is in the steps, instead of using this instance, we're going to switch to our Dev3 um, environment and the instance that is mapped to it, provide the right username and password, of course, and make sure that we're picking up the package job results. Now that we have this new job, we can also include it in a pipeline. So we can take the pipeline that exists over here, for example, and we can add this deploy to Dev3 to run in parallel to the deployment that we're doing to our test instance. Okay, so let's save this. And this is now a pipeline that would deploy the same change to two environments. So right now we're still running the packaging job, we can see the pipeline is actually executing right here. And once it's done, we'll see that all the jobs are in green. So it means that we actually did a deployment. 
And indeed, if we'll go to our environments and we would look at the deployments for the Dev3 instance, okay, we can see here is our deployment down here. Now, if we actually click on the URL to this instance, we can open this instance of Oracle SAS and log in into this instance with right username and password. And we can go to the connection application on this instance. And again, if you look at the URL at the top, you'll see this is our dev instance. And if we look up an employee over here, we'll see the information, but the fields for the phone and the email are not going to show up. So we deployed successfully our extension. Now what happens if you want to revert those changes and remove the deployment? To do that, you can simply copy the version and the extension ID that you want to remove. Okay, so let's keep this in our clipboard. And we're going to create a build job that is going to delete an extension. So we'll call it the undeploy. Again, um, we're going to use the default a template for Visual Builder related jobs. And we're going to define a new step over here that will use the delete option from the application extension menu. Okay, so we're going to map again to a specific environment, provide the username and password, then provide information uh, if we're doing a classic application about the application name, which is HCM. We're going to paste the ID of our application extension and take the number, put it, the version number, at the second field and click Save. So now we have a new build job. We can run it over here by clicking Build Now. And this job is going to delete the extension that we deployed previously. So let's give it a minute to run. And we can see it's ended up successfully with the green. And if we'll go back to our application, do a refresh of the page, same instance, the Dev2 instance, now has back the phone number and email in the information. So this is how you deploy and undeploy extensions.